Welcome to the Ask Coach Mac podcast, where coaches from around the world get their strength and conditioning questions answered. What's up, guys? Rama Kiefer here, and welcome to episode number 20 of Ask Coach Mac. Thank you so much for joining me today. We have a great question from James. But before we get to that, I want to thank today's sponsor, Iron Grip. If you're in the market for plates or dumbbells, these are my go-to guys. I have put iron grip plates and dumbbells in three facilities, including my own garage where my family and I work out. I've had nothing but positive experiences with them and love the fact that they're manufactured in the U.S. For more information, go to www.irongrip.com, follow them on Twitter, or call my buddy Chris DeSanto at 509-230-3124. All right, here's today's question from James. Hey, Coach Mac. James here from uh, Calgary, Alberta. Just thought I'd send you a question about your internship program. I work at a small strength and conditioning facility, and uh, we run an internship program, and I've really started to uh, hopefully make a little bit more course-based, a little more presentations, lectures, things like that. I was just wondering if you could give a quick rundown of your internship program. Um, You know, what are the pillars you guys are trying to focus on? lectures, what are expectations, things of that nature. Um, hope you can answer this question for me. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Thanks for asking this question. My internship program is something that I, I value tremendously. Um, it's something that I felt obligated to do uh, because of the fantastic internship experiences that I had. I had a great internship experience with the Kansas City Royals. Um, I had one with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers before moving up into an, an assistant role. and um, Just a... a uh, I had fantastic teachers uh, that poured into me, and so that I try to do the same uh, with my interns. And so, since um, you know, 1999, I've been running an internship program uh, three times a year. You know, fall, spring, and summer, uh, with classes coming through uh, each of those each of those semesters. And uh, I've made all the mistakes, and I and I and I think I've done some things that well as well. And so. Um, what I include, I think the first thing, the first step, uh, the first mistake that I made that I learned from was, uh, trying to teach the intern class, everything that I knew, uh, about strength and conditioning. You know, I had everything from the three inch binder, every journal article, every, um, you know, just lots of different presentations and, and things, you know, getting all the way into, uh, exercise physiology and biomechanics and, and kines and, uh, really taking it too far uh, with trying to teach them too much. And so through the years, what I've arrived at um, is really paring that down to what is essential that they need to learn for that semester, that training program, and making sure that they know all the ins and outs of it. And, uh, and what I found is that they, by doing that, uh, they've learned a, a lot more naturally, organically, uh, then if I was to try to force them to take a, uh, a beginning of strength, you know, strength and conditioning 101 type class uh, for that semester with me. I think what makes us unique in our internship program, and it really kind of goes into my, my book, uh, The CEO Strength Coach, was the premise of that book was that to be a success in strength and conditioning, you have to be uh, three things. You have to be a great technician, where I think a lot of interns lie. Um, a lot of strength coaches lie where they, you know, they like lifting weights because they like lifting weights. They, they, they naturally start to teach people to lift weights and all they do is research how to lift weights. But the reality is, uh, and if you've been in this business for any period of time, you understand that, you know, you have to also, as you start to take on your own teams, uh, you become a head strength coach. You are a manager. Uh, you have to manage people, time, resources, and, you know, those are the, the things that really kind of, that's where the rubber meets the road. That's the things that separate out the good strength coaches, the ones that last uh, from the ones that, that kind of uh, wash out, to be honest with you. And then lastly, you have to be an entrepreneur. And, and, you know, there's an aspect of creating additional revenue streams and things like that, like the traditional sense of an entrepreneur. But it also means constantly sharpening the sword and uh, challenging your ideals and, and continually improving as a strength coach, so areas, and I think our internship program uh, really focuses on developing those interns in all three of those areas. So when they, when they come out of college, a lot of times they have a pretty good understanding 
of the technical side of strength and conditioning. You know, they, they, you know, the education programs now are phenomenal in teaching them what they need to know in terms of the p- principles of strength and conditioning and, uh, you know, types of, of training programs and systems and things like that. What they don't do so well is uh, the manager and the entrepreneur part. And so we really make sure that we kind of uh, highlight some of those experiences uh, in our internship program as well. How we lay ours out, um, it's a couple of things. I mean, we do a weekly lecture um, with them. What I've done now is I've taken that and I've screen captured myself doing it. And uh, they're able to watch it at any time throughout the week. And then in our, our weekly meeting, we'll discuss it. Um, and I have a series of lectures. I mean, everything from building a strength issue resume and networking and social media to how to conduct a site visit and, and, and actually setting one up. Uh, creating a strength conditioning library and, and kind of how do you uh, decipher and, and pare down all the information that's out there, uh, you know, the history of strength conditioning, principles that we use, um, time management skills, you know, we, we go into a little bit of facility design and kind of emergency action plans and things like that. And so that's a weekly lecture series that I have where Essentially, I have a lecture, I have an assignment, um, and then there's some interaction as, as, as a staff on that topic. Um, we also use the CSCCA practicum uh, as a way of checking um, some technical skills of how to perform the lifts, um, making sure that they understand uh, a lot of the different um, things that they're going to be asked about on the CSCCA exam. Um, just basic strength and conditioning knowledge. It's more of a checklist type of, of approach, and we'll do that throughout their internship. Um, and then I think the two things that really kind of make us, not, not unique, I know other people do it, but um, is that we really challenge them to develop their public ski, uh, speaking ability. Uh, we make them do two presentations. One is a 15-minute presentation where uh, they do 10 minutes of a topic, a controversial topic. So they might say something along the lines of, um, you know, CrossFit for football is the best thing ever, you know, and they'll present 10 minutes on it. And then that five minutes is a discussion where they're having to lead a discussion amongst their peers um, on a polarizing topic where they're going to have to field questions that they don't necessarily know what's coming. And there generates a little bit of emotion in the room. Um, and so a little bit of anxiety that goes with that. And I think that's an important thing as you're presenting your, your information as a strength coach to your coaching staffs, there's going to be four, five, ten coaches in the room that don't always agree, and they're going to be firing questions at you left and right, and you have to be able to field that. The second presentation is a clinic that we do at the end of our internship where they need to choose a topic, and the goal on the topic is to teach me something that I don't know about strength and conditioning. So uh, we had an intern not too long ago that did a, you know, strength and conditioning for astronauts, you know, and so I thought that that was really cool. Where something I hadn't, um, you know, I, I did not know much about and how they go about training uh, in zero gravity and, and all those types of things. I thought that was really a, a great topic. And so they, they present on a topic, and, and then in that, in those two presentations, where you know, my staff is critiquing their content, and then I critique their, their public speaking skills, and then. Uh, they're also responsible for a group project. You know, it's either a, a DVD, an ebook, um, something where they need to work together so they have to work as a team. Um, they have to present on a topic and they have to be and, and do it in a way in which um, they're contributing to the body of work that exists. They're, 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 they're taking their spin on it, they're having to package it, they're having to. Um, not sell it, but be able to sell it uh, in a way that, you know, it's marketable and things along those lines. And so um, they have, it's a really fun project that they work together on. Um, and there's a series of, if you go to my YouTube page, there's a series of videos of, of things that they've done. I think that, you know, uh, you know, 10 fearsome finishers or, you know, all these different things. And again, the idea of it is um, for them to work together. It's, uh, you know, the other part of it, is not all of them are going to go on to strength and conditioning. And so uh, producing products like ebooks and videos and things like that, those are skills that could create additional revenue streams for them in the performance space or personal training space or 
or something along those lines. So, you know, we, we basically, you know, I, th- I think to recap, you know, try to not teach them everything you know, pare it down to what is essential for them to do the job, work on things outside of just being a, a, the technician strength coach, help them to become a manager and entrepreneur, come up with a series of lectures um, that are going to help them accomplish those things. I think including uh, the speaking and the group project is always fun. And then, you know, I, I like to prepare them for some sort of advanced training, CSCCA exam or a CSES or maybe a USA weightlifting or, or something along those lines where you're, you're prepping them so that they're ready for uh, whatever the next step um, is in their, in their development. So, James, I, I hope that answers your question. We'd love to hear what everyone else thinks. Use the hashtag AskCoachMac20 to continue the discussion over on Twitter. James, thanks for your question. I want to encourage everyone else that if you have a question that you would like to potentially be featured on the show, head over to AskCoachMac.com. There you can ask your question by hitting the record button at the bottom of the page. Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate you. And here's a quote to finish off the day by Benjamin Franklin. Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next episode of Ask Coach Mac. Bye for now.